Like many others, I use a 2.4 GHz diversity receiver to transmit my commands to the plane. Having these two antennas just flapping around won't bring that range you need. So we need to straight that out to a right angle of 90 degrees. Which in this case simply drives me mad. Anyways, we will cut the upper wing for about 2 mm so we can hide the one antenna within. And while antenna number 2 is still dancing in the wind, number 1 is hidden well. Please avoid to make the gap too big. This will cost you aerodynamics. As mentioned in the beginning, 90 degrees would be optimal. So we need to build something to hold a 90 degree angle. I measured the hole to be about 1 cm wide. Keep that in mind as we need it in a minute. We'll need some spare foam from the bird and a zip tie to make this happen. This zip tie will hold our second antenna straight in the air. And we will cut the foam piece into shape so it can fill the hole to hold the zip tie. By now your piece of foam should have 1 cm in square, or almost. Please adjust the corners so you can fit it in. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a little round. Do you see this carving? I cut this piece of foam half over. Now be gentle with it, just halfway in, not through, halfway in. Then take a zip tie and embed it within the foam, just from the bottom upwards, just like an antenna. Let's work it into the wing. Be sure to take the antenna into the front, into the carving, so it can stay up front and won't mess while we're pushing it in. See? Flexy and good. Straighten up the antenna along the zip tie, grab some shrink tube and put it over. Make sure this antenna stays in the front and can relay on the zip tie. For the top, I picked the second shrink tube, this time in red. After having shrunk the shrink tubes, it could look like this, smooth and flexy. Maybe this will help you on your approach to do this. Now what do we have in store here for you? Just click one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your help. Are you ready? I will tell you some more about the sky shadow and what I did to it. Be seeing ya!